the host of a science show. I'm kind of a woman in STEM. No offense to the actual PhDs we interview, but I'm pretty much one of you. Another member of the STEM sisterhood became one of history's most celebrated scientists, but the elements she discovered had a dark side that still haunts her to this day. I'm here to tell you all about Marie Curie. Hi, I'm Miranda Cosgrove. Welcome to the STEM loft, where the landlord said it wasn't haunted and was honestly really weird about it. Marie Curie, working with her husband Pierre, discovered the element polonium in 1898. And the pair discovered another element, radium. And this work led to her sharing the 1903 Nobel Prize in Physics. It's so cute when couples share things. Normally it's like a hoodie, but a Nobel Prize works too. After her husband died tragically, Marie continued to study radioactive elements, eventually winning the Nobel Prize in Chemistry in 1911 for finally isolating metallic radium. Even today, Marie is one of only two people ever to win Nobel Prizes in two different fields. The soft glow of the new Miracle Radium compounds led to its use in paints for clocks and watches, and even toothpaste and beauty cream. It's a good thing I have a natural glow. No radioactive beauty products needed. But the elements Marie discovered and studied had never been collected before, and there wasn't a clear understanding of their dangers. Over time, exposure to these elements can cause deadly cancers. Eventually, Marie came to understand the dangers, but for years she kept radium in her pockets, her desk, on shelves, and around her house. When the First World War broke out in 1914, Marie Curie set up hundreds of field hospital radiography units and 20 mobile x-ray cars. It's estimated they treated over one million patients. But this work put Marie in even more danger. Modern x-ray safety techniques had yet to be developed, but Marie continued to help people, knowing that her health was at risk. When she passed away in 1934, it was from a blood disorder often caused by radiation exposure. Decades of working with radioactive elements means Marie's remains are radioactive, and her coffin is lined with lead to help to protect visitors to her tomb. Her scientific notebooks, furniture, and even her clothes are still radioactive. And even today, her notes are stored at France's Bibliothèque Nationale in a lead-lined box. Anyone studying them has to wear protective gear and her belongings will be radioactive for another 1,500 years. Putting on a radiation suit to read Marie Curie's dangerous notebooks is kind of the biggest boss move you can pull in a library. Marie Curie's work helped us understand atoms, nuclear power. She literally put her life on the line for science. And she even intentionally refrained from patenting the radium isolation process so that all scientists could build on her work. Marie Curie leaves a legacy as a pioneer for women and scientists everywhere. Hey, it's Miranda Cosgrove, your favorite host of Mission Unstoppable. I'm the only host. And if you want to watch awesome STEM videos and exclusive Mission Unstoppable clips, just make sure you subscribe and hit that notification bell.